everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, just setting up a sparring room tonight. And let's see. Alright. Hope everyone's doing really well. 15185. Password is... Good to have you, Benok. Um, let's see. Right. I'll be up in just a sec. Let me just notify everybody. And I'm looking forward to fighting your Taka. Just give me a sec here. A lot of places I'm posting this, so... Almost done. <laughs> Bannock left. It's okay. All in due time. Some of these interfaces suck though. Um, like, PS app is a real painful one. So, because I have to like tap like two floating things just to get out of a chat. Alright, we're good to go. We should be able to start playing soon. Let's see if I can send an invite. Awesome, Zero Mitsu is here. Excellent. Alright, let's do some sparring. If we get enough players, we're going to change it into a league battle. But yeah, I did all of my setup stuff, so I had to notify a lot of discords, a lot of places in Twitter. I didn't notify Facebook. Normally I would do that. If other people show up in here, I'll start doing that on the side too. Alright, hey Blurring, feel free to join. Good? Good. How are you doing, Blaring? Hope you're doing really well. Can you hear me okay? Very good. That was an Abari. So that beat my throw attempt. So I'm showing some of the strong responses here. Um, what I'm doing is... Now it's hard to do. Right? That's a low punch because I anticipate a high in the string. And that's like... Um, you can beat that if you do like 6k right away when you enter Flamingo Stance. A lot of times when you enter Flamingo Stance, you're in advantage. So especially with like 4K, yeah, like there, there, yeah. And you kind of have to commit if you're Sarah. Otherwise, this jab is going to get you, right? Like that low jab is going to get you. So you want to commit with like a mid uh, if you get into Flamingo Stance. Hey, Jason Elbow. Um, you're always welcome to join. Password is uh, 4565. That was a good back dash. That was a good back dash. Excellent. All right. So now I'm going to show you different things I can do there. And it's not, don't feel discouraged if I, if what I do beats what you do, just understand that this is a whole getting used to the flow of VF and like, like this, right? Boom, boom, right? 
So what I did there was I blocked your low punch. I did a low punch. I knew it was going to counter hit, so I went ahead and did a launcher right after. So, like that, right? You did have advantage there, but I anticipate that you might do a high. There you go. Low or mid are going to be pretty good. So after this high jab, you want to do like elbow. Yeah, high jab into low punch is excellent. Actually, that's the correct thing to do with Leon. All right. Nice. Good. All right. There you go. All right, here we go, Zionetsu. I'm going to come a bit harder here. Just I'm going to attack a bit harder, so go ahead and watch what I do. So punish, yep. Low punch, nice. Good. Good. Good defense. And it's not that you always defend, it's that you defend when you think I'm going to attack, and you did. That was a really good battle. Excellent flow. Excellent use of flow. So, what I did there, I, I had a, I had confidence that I was going to counter hit you with the elbow, so that's why I went ahead and did the elbow punch. If I don't have confidence I'm going to counter hit you though, I will do basically, hey Jason, it's good to, good to see you, good to fight. I always like fighting you. Um, here we go, let's polish off the rest for you too. Alright, you're probably going to rock me though. Let's see how this goes. It's going to be a lot of fun. There you go. Good. Good. Throw. I use that plus six to do my... Um, the main thing with 1K, 1K, even though it's a low, you really want to use it as a counter hit. You want to use its speed. No, no, no. Zeometsu, you're doing fine. Everybody goes everywhere. Just remember, you just keep learning. This is a game where you just keep learning. Very good throw. That was excellent. And he knew he knew I'd go for low. So he's punishing the low right there. Very good. Now with Leon, one of the hard skills to develop when you fight against Leon is evading to the backside. You know. It's it's harder, it's easier said than done. And that's because Leon changes stances a lot. And sometimes even when like you're focusing on punishing an opponent for doing that, your opponent, the le like the opponent sometimes evades the wrong way, not because they meant to, but because your stance switching is messing with them, right? And so as a Leon player, I have to kind of make careful judgments about if I, like, if the opponent is having an evade logic or not, you know? That was good. Excellent. I love that 3-3-P three, three plus K. Really good stuff. We got more people in the room. Zero Metsu, you're in here to train. We're here to train. So again, don't let, don't let the, like, it's, um, it's, it's good to be in the, we're always about growth mindset here. Meaning, uh, I could have punished that. Nice. I thought I blocked the elbow, but it's, uh, that's where, like, I didn't use proper judgment there. Really good battle, Jason. We're getting polishing that rest, polishing that rest. Um, so, like when you fight against Leon, it's really powerful to evade to Leon's backside, but it's hard to do because Leon keeps changing stances with half his move list. So, all right, we got more and more people in here. Let's do this, Zio Metsu. I'm gonna give you full sparring. Don't feel bad, okay? We're in here to learn. We're in here to develop. Keep working on your flow. You've actually got a lot of good flow in there. Yeah, you are gonna get better. So like, um, like, and you actually are doing pretty good. Uh, a lot of people, actually, your flow is a little better than quite a few people. So keep it up. This room today, not so much, but, but in general, yeah. But I'm gonna be testing it. So just feel confident. 
Let's see how. There we go. And if you're not feeling fast enough to do um, to do like an elbow after blocking a low punch, you can always do a low punch, block like block it low punch, right? But just be careful because Leon has stuff like this that will do it. But I only worry about that when they actually do it first. When people show you that they actually want to hunt your low punch. But I will show you a trick though. Sometimes, like, my Leon is going to, like, do, like, an elbow, and if you block it, I'm probably going to crouch dash after it. Very nice. There you go. Good. Yep, there you go. Now, if you duck, if you want to do a good duck and punish, Sarah's, like, from crouch... You do down forward P plus K, it's so good. You do down forward P plus K, it's really good from from crouch though. So it's like if you do, if you if you want to whiff punish a high, that's like your move. Uh, not always. Good, very nice. And when you play strong players like me, a pattern you want to develop is actually punching like high jab into throw or a low punch into throw. It's really powerful against someone like me. Because I'm probably going to evade, or I'm, like, if I get hit, I'm probably going to evade. And, um, or I might guard. And throw beats both. So, like, just, we'll fight, and I'll show you what a low punch in the throw looks like. That's a low punch in the throw, right? It's really scary. People just don't see it. Right? Excellent throw. And then that pattern's always strong. Alright. Good game. Good game. Also, when you watch the way I play, you'll see how powerful like crouch dashing just in neutral is. It's very it's it's there are risks to it, like anything else, but overall it's very strong. Um, but at the high level, there are risks associated with doing it carelessly. But in general, it's still almost always just really good because it's just five frames, you know. So we'll do a league battle soon, so everybody gets lots of matches in. Almost. Very nice boy. Excellent. Good bait. Good just waiting for it and wanting to punish the rising attack. No problem. Most players do. Most players do. And learning how to throw is one of the hardest things in VF. Like learning how to aggressively throw, and yet it's one of the strongest things to do in this game, right? I counter hit with the sidekick and then throw, right? Um, I block a sidekick and then I throw. You know, um, stuff like that. Like this is so counter hit, sidekick, throw, right? And so, um, learning how to throw is one of the strongest things in this game because throwing in this game is as much as doing a combo in almost any other game. That was a good Abari. So good. Really good round, Blurring. Really good round. It was a lot of fun. Blurring is catching up. Blurring took a break from VF, so it's really wonderful to see Blurring, uh, you know, like also uh, polishing the rest again, too. Oh, that was such a good Abari. See, they, they expected the throw, so now they did the launcher. That is the correct VF. In VF, if you expect them to do... If you expect them to do... Um, if you expect them to do throw, you you launch them. That's that's what you want to train yourself. It's hard to train yourself to do that. But if you like, if you know in your bones they're going to throw you, that's like the answer is, is actually to, to launch.
Good game. We'll do uh, two games, or we'll do one more game, and then we'll jump into a league. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think league will be a lot of fun to start off with, so everyone can get more matches. Yeah. Defensive is not bad in VF. It's just a little different, you know? Like, the way that VF does defense is mastering Fuzzy Guard. Mastering Fuzzy Guard and um, evade canceling is like how you do defense in this game so it's like in your face defense and that's because it, it makes it hard for people to throw you and hard for people to do mid attacks against you oh that's so good I'm so dead. That was awesome. All right. And also, always watch players like Bannock. Bannock is really strong. And he's going to show you really powerful setups. That's, you see? Now he has to pay that. So now, like, I have to, oh my god. Look at that throw. Nice, he did a jab, that's Taco's version of jab elbow, so good. Punish me for, like I did the evade, I'm at a disadvantage. I'm so wrecked, this is good. Alright, good game. Alright, we'll start the league, even though it'd be fun to watch Vanok play other players. But we'll go ahead and start the league. It's a lot of fun. Uh, just play the matches. Don't worry about the results. Focusing on results will just frustrate you. Um, let the results happen. Do the training. Just do the training. Trust me. That's the way. <laughs> Crazy Duck's awesome to fight. He, he makes you improve, you know? So just, um, yeah. So Zio Mitsu, don't worry about the results. It's just the training. No, nobody's like stressing over it. Nobody's, if anyone's hanging over, hanging it over your head, they're a loser. So. Very nice. Good. Like, people that don't play but are, like, being a jerk, that's, like, that's pretty much a loser, right? So, side turn puts you at a big disadvantage. It's similar to how uh, Sarah's Flamingo puts you at a big disadvantage. So you always have to be kind of careful on defense. Nice. You you have good move list, man. That said, when you see patterns like this fuzzy guarding, the way to de to beat fuzzy guard is to like crouch dash delay throw, is one. Doing a low, like a sweep, is also really good too. When you see it, nice. Good. LD Wells, good to see you. LD Wells, you gotta come back into the room if you're not. Oh, excellent. Good defense, good defense. Good. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, 
That was a good match. I just I chose an attack. That was good. The only thing was was um your your two P was blocked, so that's where the throw is kind of not as good. But it's really hard to hit confirm that. So it's more about that, that and that was fine. Because your judgment was, I think I'm going to hit with this low punch, which was very reasonable. And then you went for the throw, so it's not a problem. No, it's all good. We keep working at it, man. We keep working at it. All right, I'm cheering you on. Don't feel discouraged whatsoever. Just have fun playing. Yeah, you can't do that against... Uh, Danok. Let go. Duck. Okay. Danok is playing on pure reeds right now. So, this is good. I need this training. my stick. <laughs> uh, I'm fighting with Crazy Junk right now, but he's I, I'm not even playing properly against them, so... Ah, uh, that was not good. The other way. I'm so dead. Nice to see you, Alice. Human Hunter Dings. Uh, no, it's possible to beat Crazy Jump, but he is one of the strongest players in the country. He's one of the most underrated players in the country because he's so quiet. Like, actually, the strongest players in this country are all quiet. They're not active on social media much. And so they are very underrated. <laughs> and so, <laughs> like, literally, like, the top three are like, quiet Qu top four arguably top three are like very quiet fucking players like they're very cool they're very nice guys and because of that like newer generation doesn't even know who they are sometimes but yeah crazy drunk is probably the quietest and he's definitely one of the strongest he's he's really really strong um he's very underrated because he's on the west coast and a lot of big major tournaments are on the east coast and he still makes some of those but you know, you can't expect West Coast people to always go. Ah, uh, that was bad. That was bad. I was looking around and came across your stream. Maybe I can help. Oh, thanks, Alice. I appreciate that. I appreciate that offer. Oh, I like that, Jason. I like that very much. Ah, throw. Just a throw. So I like the way Jason's doing. Jason's trying to condition me with... Um, with the setup attacks. They're like, you're not going to evade to my back. And I like that. Jason, that was beautifully played. Hey, I think you're polishing that rust off pretty good, Jason. <laughs> this is so much fun. Uh, that was good. I like that. I 
like that too. It's hard to um, react to rising attack in online environments. And so that's kind of why we do it a lot more. But it's not really cheap because even offline, it'll happen. Like, like, like rising attacks work. Good battle, good battle. Okay. I may have fought you yet, but crazy drunk is no he's yeah. Taco is yeah. <laughs> I understand Hunter. I totally understand. Taco, Leife, and Shun are really hard. Like Shun is even better zoning than Leon. Um Leife also good zoning, but it's mostly it's other stuff. Right? And um but but Crazy Drunk's uh, Leife is like, is really complete. Uh, it's very scary because it has a full removal. Same as a Shun. Thanks, Panda. Yeah, you can. Uh, the room will open up right after this league. So the room will open up very soon. Very, very soon. But if you're working, I understand. Uh, let's see. Zio Metsu, trust me, you're fighting a room of monsters right now. In the room of monsters, your your training goals are never to really win, and that's okay. Your training goals is just kind of figuring stuff out, just kind of getting better at the basics. The experience, this is a game where you win because you have more experience. Um, now, it doesn't mean that you always win because more, but, like, look, Paul has only been playing a couple years and is playing as good as everybody right now. But, um, but it's one where... It's very open compared to a lot of fighters, right? A lot of fighters, there's always kind of this one or two answer thing. This game is a lot of different answers and a lot of changing of the situation. And so it, it's really, um, it's like, if you're too results oriented early on, it's really frustrating. But if you're, but the results you're supposed to look for are not the win result. It's just more of the, okay, let me see if I can get, if I can nail them with this move. And let me see if I can deal with that move better, right? And then usually it's like the basics, like, okay, anytime that the low punch happens, I kind of want to do these things. And as you get better at that, you'll you'll get sharper. I mean, I'm sharp because I know, because I've done it so many times. I've, I've had to, like, block and elbow low punches so many times, right? And now I can do block the low punch and do more um, because it's plus five for me. So if they have a 12 frame jab, I get to do a 17 frame mid when I just from blocking a low punch, you know, um, but that's really hard to do. Like, you don't have much time to do it. Uh, that one feels more like other fighting games. But yeah. I almost did the duck and punish. Good, there you go. The movement is also about learning how to work with the reactions. So the, the, the movement, the trick with the movement is actually not, it's different than tucking. It's, it's, it's more about correctly as knowing when you're at disadvantage and advantage. Ah, uh, that sucked. I had the combo earlier to launch to ring them out, and um, I didn't get it. But that's okay. We recover.
I evaded that. Okay, good start, good round. Yeah, until you learn how it works. Yeah, but it works differently than Tekken. Because evades are totally different than Tekken, right? Like, um, I didn't know if I remember seeing how, if you know, I might have to, I might have to workshop evades with you and it'll make sense. All right, good game, Blaine. So what it's like is this. In Virtua Fighter, you have failed evades and successful evades. Successful evades require that the opponent is already attacking you. It won't work. Like, if you're at advantage, you'll get a failed evade instantly if you try to evade there. When we try to evade, we do it when we're at disadvantage. Congratulations, Jason. Really good stuff. Tied with Vanox. So that is awesome. All right. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're warming up. We're taking in anybody who wants to join the room can join the room. Hey, it was good stuff, man. That's awesome. Keep it up. All right, Vanox versus Blurring, maybe. We're doing, like, battles in the room for a bit while we let other people join the room. Yeah, you can join the... Okay, so... The room ID is 15185. The password is 4565. Yeah, so Zuvo Metsu, um... Yeah. Let me watch, watch it play here. Of course, it makes it hard, like, um, Vanessa makes it really tough, but, let's see. Keep it up. Very nice. But if you ever want to do a workshop, I can workshop each part. I can teach you how the movement works in this game and how to get better at movement. But part of getting better at movement in this game is is just kind of like um, realizing what the options you have are in the situation. Nice. Okay. Good battle. What I will say is this, um, yeah, I love, oh, Jason, I love margarita pizza. Um, I'm glad that more and more, you finding more places that serve a mar like a, um, a Neapolis, a Neapolitan pizza. It's becoming more common in the U.S. It's not the same, but it's become more common. So, Zivo Metsu, we should definitely do, um, a workshop session sometime. Just say you want to do a workshop. And I will show you all the movement stuff. But basically, um, but it, it also means knowing the options. Knowing, like, if you're at disadvantage, that's when you do an evade. You don't do evades when you're at advantage in this Ready? game. No, totally, yeah. Neapolitan pizza has a very, um, it's very different and so wonderful. I love it. And so, when you say margarita pizza, I know you're talking about a Neapolitan pizza. Yeah, the, the pizza in Naples, Italy is like so amazing. But I, I definitely want to have it in Italy. And the ingredients are different. They don't, they're not going to use pepperoni. They, they would get mad if you asked for pepperoni. Oh, that was such a beautiful Okizomi. That kick just flat out beats rising attack. Um, to beat Rising Attack, you need to do more than 20 damage. You have to do 21 or more damage. Because in VF, when two hits, when two attacks collide, 
Um, the greater damage wins. Same damage as a tie. Same damage as a trade. Oh yeah, margarita, but a margarita Neapolitan pizza is so good. It it just it goes down well. Yeah, I but I I envy you because I want to have it in Italy. That said, um, Zio Metsu, what I wanted to tell you is, your Tekken skills they do pay off, but Tekken skills pay off later in VF because you have a lot of learning the vf system first after you get after you get really good with the vf system those tekken skills are very strong there's a lot of whiff punishing at higher level play lots of whiff punishing uh you whiff punish when you fuzzy under under throws you whiff punish when you anticipate some stuff and then you start opening up strings later strings are weak in the beginning of the game and then they get strong later and then you start to be able to delay them and all kinds of stuff because you present other options and your opponent has to start thinking a lot more. And so um, the Tekken skills really come in. That's so good. See, Jason's like, I'm not a fool. Beautiful. Excellent. And I love his comboing too. Went for it. Uh, in this game, it's learning the VF system first. Like it's a, you'll understand it eventually, but it's it's really that. Except for, except for the characters Vanessa, Shun, Leifei, and Taka. Oh, he missed it. Okay. Really awesome round, Jason. Excellent round. This is a lot of fun because, you know, like, the Leon matchup is, is more and more fun the better you get at the game. But it is frustrating for a while. Really? Oh, <laughs> I should have gone for the full combo. <laughs> really awesome battle, Jason. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, oh, good game. I'm glad I got the timing down on the on <laughs> on the stand stuff. Uh, barely got that. All right, we've got a lot of people do one more battle. I'm gonna pass it. Um, cue self last. Let you guys play one game, and then we will do a league battle. So <laughs> I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you you played you played so good you played better that game so good game good game. <laughs> you know? It's gonna be very scary in the league. <laughs> so. oh, sorry. This is yeah. sorry, Human Hunter. It wasn't inten It was not intentional. It was not intentional. Good to have you here though. I'm gonna add you on PSN because I don't have you on PSN.
sorry to disrupt you in your game with this message, but wanted to add you right away while I could. KDC, I'm so happy that you're in here. Zio Mitsu, I should have you in here, but I'm not sure if I do. Yes, I do have you on Friends of Good. Luring's here, awesome. We have a. This is an awesome, awesome room. A lot of developing players. Um, there are scary players in here, but this is actually a lot of good intermediate players in here. This is going to be, don't focus on the results though. Focus on skill building. This game really needs you to focus on skill building. Congrats, Jason, on the two gigabits of internet. That's awesome. Okay, let's do a league. Let's do a league. This is going to be a fun league, okay? It's okay, it's okay, <laughs> Human Hunter. Yeah, just try your hardest, ask questions, you know. Nice. Very good. Oh, awesome mix up. You mixed it up. All right. Good first round, human hunter. Oh, that's cool. That was cool too. Good defense. Nice. All right. All right, excellent. All right, you might get this win. Oh. I'm gonna try to lose this. That was such an intense, insane round. Very good game, Human Hunter. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Keep working on what you're working on. Um, your flow right now has a lot of... You you did do some really good throws. And your flow has good attacks. Because I think, appropriately so, you're fighting a lot of players around your level, which is very good. And because of that, attacks are stronger against players at that level. Um, if you start having trouble with defense work really hard on throwing but right now uh only do it when that's giving you trouble right now i think your attack flow is pretty good uh you're doing a lot of good stuff with your time keep it up Round one. Ready, go. very nice Alright, 
Moment. Good defense. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good round. Excellent. That was a good move. That's a really good move from range. Very good game. Alright. Good game to you, Mitsu. Flamingo is kind of hard to use. Um, it's better to learn how to use an Okizeme. And so, um, what's strong to use are the jab, elbows, and throws. As boring as it is, Sarah is, a, is more of a safe striker type, but uh, I could teach you kind of some of the stuff you want to do with her. Like, so her elbow leads into like you can do a throw mid mix up, or you can, or you can confirm it into the elbow kick. And when you do the elbow kick, you can set Flamingo up right then and there. But you gotta. But the hard part with Flamingo is you need to force decisions with Flamingo. You have to apply the pressure. Oh, that's so good. Punish, I need to punish that. KK.
KDC also, um, man, who are you fighting? You're fighting some rough ones. Good. <laughs> they have experience with Crazy Drunk. Crazy Drunk is Bannock, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> so. That's so good. Look at that, so beautiful. Really good round, KDC. Uh, I gotta do KK on reaction to that though. Wow. Ready, Sorry, I meant that. Good game, KDC. Hmm. Oh, I thought I'd get that. That was good. Excellent round, Jason. All right, here we go. Man, that's that stand switch got me again. That was really good. That stand switch totally got me. Yes, 
so much fun. <laughs> These are always, always fun battles with Jason. That was perfect. That was really good. Good game. Good game, Jason. Excellent. Caught me on the vid. Awesome final round reads. Hey, good games. <laughs> the reads, man. Really good reads. Very good games, man. <laughs> Good game. Jason, I got I got crazy drunk down one. <laughs> I got crazy drunk down one. <laughs> I think this is gonna lead to Jason Elbow and Crazy Drunk Time for first. <laughs> Let's see. So like, my view on Virtua Fighter is that, uh, yes, like any competitive venture, you should mostly fight people that are at your skill level, but in this game, if you can stomach it, if you can brave through it, you learn a lot fighting people that are stronger than you. You really do learn a lot in that, but, but the mindset has got to be a little different. You got to understand that you're just building lots of tools because this is a very comprehensive game. And that's not to say other fighting games are not comprehensive, but this game, like the amount of things that are going to, that's going to work for you is like the little, the little things you gain are like a lot in this game. And this game is so player versus player that the experience can't help you. So yeah, um, but if it's frustrating, I understand. And managing your frustration is definitely is definitely part of the the thing that you always have to manage. But if you can stomach it, it's really like, I mean, I I would travel across the country to play this game to play Virtua Fighter three, Virtua Fighter four against like the best players in the country. Even when I was, you know, just developing, and 
and like and, and same with blurring blurring would just kind of fight everyone and that's how they got stronger right um same for me um i traveled around the country to just to get beat up in bodies and it, it made me very strong very quickly um there's a lot that goes into it but really like that's like this that's how i got strong right i got strong by fighting people that are really crazy strong um and i know that nowadays there's there's kind of a school of thought that like to avoid that but i i'm serious like that's not how i learned right um i learned from fighting people that are of all skills though so like in my local scene i play a lot of different skill levels and and i learn a lot from all my fights i learn from fighting beginners a lot i learn how to teach but i also learn how to apply things some that i i get to try stuff a lot and so my view is is it's not that you only play um the people that are around your skill it's that you have a mix and in that mix about 60 percent is that yeah uh I learned a lot from because I learned I saw what was more efficient in their play, right? I saw that like that this is gonna win a lot. Like high jab, low jab, elbow wins a lot in this game. Um, but it's not the high jab and the low jab and the elbow that wins outright. It's what comes after them, right? It's like I high jab you. If it counter hits, then I mix up, and it's really powerful. In Street Fighter, or in this game, when you hit with a low jab. You just ask yourself the question, is my opponent going to attack or are they going to defend? If the if you think they're going to attack, you do a counter hit launcher. If you think they're going to defend, you throw. And it's, it's that simple. And that question and that answer is all throughout the game constantly. Whenever you have advantage, it's are they going to attack or are they going to defend? Now, when you have, um, that's whenever you're at disadvantage, right? Um, or when you're at advantage. Yeah. Um, when you are at a disadvantage, it's a little different, but it's similar. Yeah. All right. But anyhow, no problem. I we're here for you, and uh, you can vent. You can let us know your feelings. We we understand. We we have been there, so I'm gonna listen to you, and uh, and it's totally cool. So, so I, I'm not. I don't mean to sound dismissive of of the frustrations at all, too. But let's do a workshop sometime too, uh, so we can kind of work on that level too, if, if you don't mind. So yeah. So right now we're gonna leave this open as an open room battles for a bit, so people can join in. But yeah, no problem. Yeah, man. It, yeah, if you're feeling tired, not a problem, man. Problem. Lots of fun battles, so yeah. Thank you, Zeometsu, thank you for joining us, really. Thank you very much. Yeah, we do uh, We do another league, but we... The thing about league battle, you have to give it time for people to join the room. That's why, like, when we're in league battle, nobody can see the room open. So we have to, like, give it time for room battles, just so people can join in. Because there, there's actually quite a few people who are like, hey, I don't see the room. It's like, well, you, yeah, we... We started the league battle, <laughs> or we're in the middle of the league battle. So yeah. That said, um. That said, uh, Zeometsu has a lot of good stuff in their game. It, it is basics right now because they're listening to what we're saying about the basics. Um, seeing it, I think sometimes the drilling is what helps to see it better. Um, especially, like, some people, like, having the sidestep system in this game explained in a workshop helps a lot of people understand both how sidesteps work in this game and then how movement works. It also explains how buffering works because if you don't buffer in this game you end up being slower than your opponent and if you're slower than your opponent there are times when you could have like won situations but your but your attack came later and you're wondering why they're winning so much right and and 
what I found is a lot of people when they're first learning about the buffer system, they ignore the buffer system. They think, well, okay, but delay is good, right? And it's like, yeah, delay is good too. But when you don't make full use of the frames, you're giving yourself less options and you're actually giving your opponent more options. Because if you just always delay, they have stronger attacks that are slower, that are suddenly going to work because you're not playing frame tight. Frame tight is actually what you use to get people to slow down. Um, but you do have to play frame tight kind of fast. And to do that, you kind of have to buffer. And to buffer, the hard part is when we're buffering the basics, the game is pretty fast that you kind of have to guess that you're going to actually touch with the jab. But you do have to remind yourself that, you know, as long as the jab touches, as long as it doesn't whiff, there's one situation that I don't like with the jab, and that's it's if, it, if it whiffs, right? As long as it doesn't whiff, I can do an elbow, or I can do a 2P after the jab, you know? And that's where the 1-2 the is very good. It's weak to low punch, but it's very powerful in so many situations, yeah. Yeah, so Juicebox says, I try to explain it as, if it's not your turn, you can choose to guard, evade, or attack. And if you want to evade or attack, you should buffer it. Yeah. So when we say buffer it, we're talking about inputting it before you recover. We're talking like input it like, <laughs> like when when the when the move touches the opponent, when like when the two characters, the two players are touching, that's when we're buffering. We're inputting the next move. And like if you look, if you watch it. If it showed my um, inputs, you would see that I input way before I recover. Way before my character does the move. It's it's like I input it way early. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he knows what buffering is. Yeah. <laughs> LD Wells, unfortunately, um, my wife tried to, to make it work so where I could go to Seattle tomorrow, but I won't be able to go to Seattle tomorrow. Um... We just have way too many appointments for different family members. And it's like, yeah, I got to take the kids to the clinic for the annual checkup. But also, like, we waited, like, two and a half months to get in. You know, um, it sucks. Um, and then all kinds of other stuff. We tried to reschedule, couldn't reschedule. So, unfortunately, I can't make it tomorrow. But you should definitely go there and train. Um, but, man, I, I, I want to spar with you in Seattle. But yeah, I won't be able to go tomorrow though. I'm really sad about that. Yeah. But but keep supporting because keep it going and but that said, um That said you can be shameless, like Panda and I we go to where the the Street Fighter sessions are and we play VF there and we get other people interested in VF just by playing where a lot of fighting game players are. So um, that's one thing that helps too, but also have the, the tap house is an awesome, awesome session. I like that. I like that vibe um, and it's good stuff. And I've, I've had a wonderful time every time we, we had the water lily sessions. It, numbers is in here, right? Awesome. Hey, numbers. I'm glad numbers is here. Yeah. But, um, okay, so if Geometsu is still here, I'll tell you something because I know that you can do this. Um, with Sarah, her elbow is got to be, it's, it's arguably the strongest elbow in the game if you're not counting something like Akira's dashing elbow. And it's the strongest elbow in the game because you can hit with it and you have like a huge amount of time to hit confirm it, to actually hit confirm it like Tekken. So that you can do the kick follow-up and so if you do elbow kick on the opponent um and you can delay the elbow kick so long um though if you delay too long that's not a hit confirm it won't be guaranteed but you can mess people up with it um if you do the elbow kick you can quickly do 4k which is like she does like a knee and steps forward and is in um and then she is in uh like flamingo but if you do this, if you're in Flamingo, you need to mix up kind of like the mid, like 6kk, 
and mix up like 2k into the hit throw. So you're mixing up low and mid. Uh, 4565, five. Hernan. The passcode is 4565. Five. So, again, that sounds like a lot. It, it's easier in text or it's easier to show. But with um, Sarah, you can kind of like hit him from the elbow. But stronger application of the elbow. Just using the normal elbow and then guard canceling it so that you're only doing a single elbow and not a string. You can do, if you get a counter hit or a crouch hit, you can just like throw or mid. Sarah doesn't have the very best one, but if you get good at Okizemi, she does. It's pretty scary, you know? <laughs> Such a BS. <laughs> he was like, just one frame or one pixel. <laughs> ah, punish. His turn. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Man, L Blaze. Twelve players. Okay, we're gonna do. Yeah, after this, we're gonna do the league. Yeah. Th <laughs> Again, just work on skills. <laughs> um, if you can stuff. If not, what you can do is add Zio Zio Mitsu to your um, to your friends list, and you guys should spar. And I think it'd be a lot of fun to spar for you two as well. water <laughs> like that awesome yes thanks for adding me yep of course Going to the league now. <sighs> Always a fun, stressful battle. <laughs> okay, league battle now. We got 12 players. Let's get begin. <laughs> Hunter is a lot of fun. <laughs> I like your commentary, Hunter. <laughs> I, 
So much fun. Alright, here comes numbers. This is crazy room. This is an awesome battle room. <laughs> I want a serious fight. <laughs> you and Andre is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, Tengu Man's in here. That's awesome too. I love fighting Tengu Man. Tengu Man, thank you for joining us. We've got Mexican uppercuts or panda, vena, green on numbers, KDC, Satsuna, Tango Man, Jason Alba, Space Time, and Human Hunter. Wonderful. I love having you all here. I really appreciate it. Thank you all very much. Hey Akai, good to see you. How are you doing? Hey, Tango Man, really happy to have you here, man. And I, I love fighting all of your characters. Any character you want to play, I love fighting them all so much. So much. Yeah, Tengu Man's uh, Aoi is one of the most fun to fight against, actually. It's rough, but I love fighting that Aoi so much. Yeah. Um, the thing I love about... I like that this game is very expressive. What does that mean? There's a lot you can do in this game. Because, because there's always multiple answers... You get to pick multi from multiple answers. <laughs> and so uh, there's a lot of... When you get to a certain point, you can be pretty creative to a degree. Um, it's really hard. Panda's here. Hell yeah. How did I not see Panda in that list? Crazy Drunk is just insane. I mean, Crazy Drunk's one of the best players in the country. It's okay to listen. Ready? That's a good battle. We had a little spike there, but it was really good. We, but everything followed frames. Exactly what you said.
<laughs> good, good round. Good round, Panda. That was so much fun. Good way to collect yourself and get that. Just wait for it, you know? Good. Just wait for the low. Ah, I missed the tech. And I always think I can get that, but he, that media will always win. Good round. Good game. Good game. That was an excellent game. So much fun. Panda and I are sparring partners. So much fun. I'm glad uh, he got that in there. Really good. The neutral throw always works on me. <laughs> BF's like that. You should see Dennis O201, also one of the strongest players in the country. They will, if they're playing a long set, they will sacrifice like a majority of games just to watch the opponent. And then they'll just go to town on the opponent uh, with a lot of reads. <laughs> and so they're like, let me see what they want to do. Okay, let's see if they want to do here. Let's see if I do this. What are they, what are they going to do then? And then he's got like a full profile on you after like seven games. And he goes 10 0 straight after that. Nuts. But, and VF is very much player versus the player. Yeah. <laughs> he does. Dennis still plays. You just ha People just have to be available at about... Um, 11 p.m. Pacific time, which is 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, from 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to about um, till about 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Dennis L201 is available. It, unless he's really busy. That was good. That was Leon Cheese. Works offline. That was beautiful. Good round. Good round. There you go, KDC. Get those throws in. It means that you're doing it right. Beautiful. Good round, KDC. Good round. Good round. That's what this league is for. Oh my god, that was so good. Yeah, same. Uh, yep, it is Fender. Uh, yeah, his his other handle on PSN is Fender. Oh, good game, KDC. KDC is a fellow Oregonian, and um, and I I've just been loving playing VF with KDC. They've been improving so much, and um, like, and it's always a joy. Uh, we've been playing a lot more offline lately on Fridays. And, and it's a pure joy. Um, just uh, loving the game. And KDC mainly like plays a lot of games, but plays Tekken. It's like where they're very strong. Um, and I'm just glad that they fall in love with Virtua Fighter. Good luck, Human Hunter. I'm cheering for you. Ring out. Yes. Very smart. 
I should have just gone for throw. But now throw throw would have run me out too. I, I hope you like that one, Tango Man. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's so BS. That's Leon BS there. Wham. Tango man. See, I thought I'm better. Very good game. <laughs> good game. Yeah, you gotta love the you gotta love the Leon Lowe's, right? <laughs> so, but not just the lows, like once we graduate from lows, it's then it's high mid low again. <laughs> um, but I like, yeah, it's always good to work in the matchup. But I still believe that the elbow pressure is strong. But yes, Leon does have parry. But you can deal with parry, right? Parry is not immediate damage, right? Um, so you don't really have much to worry about. And you have the responses. You have the reaction speed to deal with those parties. So I think Aoi can kind of elbow without worrying much against Leon. <laughs> yeah, elbow is his nuts on, on Aoi, yeah. Cause he can do some weird stuff in the throws too, the long range weirdness too. Long range low, <laughs> like long range slow low that you're just kind of defending and you're trying to watch and he's like up in the air and then he lows you. <laughs> Round one. Ready, go. That's right, never intervene. Good game. Good game. Good round. Right, I'll read that message in Twitch after this. That's good. Good round. Excellent round. He constructed the damage perf just right. Really good damage construction. not good for me. Okay, got it.
the game. I am minus three after that poke, so. Yeah. Very good game set, Suna. Very stressful. Good job. Good job, Human Hunter. Cheers. Alright, Mexican uppercuts, here we go. I believe we fought before. Rental is really awesome. I like Rental Animator is um, very strong. He's kind of playing Street Fighter 6 a little bit right now, but. Very nice defense. Very good, okay. Mexican uppercuts knows what he's doing. All right. Very good. Very moral player. Good. Okay, moral slight delay, and so I can build this, but awesome. Good game, Mexican uppercuts. So yes, you do have a vulnerability to low attacks. If you learn to throw more, it will be stronger. Uh, Mexican uppercuts is really good. Just one of those, um, I think they have the same kind of thing, like their development goals is the normal intermediate development goals, which is to get better at, like learn how to throw even more, which is hard. It is so scary learning how to throw more in Virtua Fighter, but it is so important. It's so important. So how you do that is, it's hard to say by targeting, but basically you need to learn how to um, know where the decision points are, which is when they're going to evade. So like when you hit them with a low punch, low punch throw, right? Um, or just sometimes when you block like a psychic throw, um, because they brought the distance to you, right? They, they closed the gap for you. Same with uppercuts. go oh really that i was too slow on that punish i matched it was i side turn i need to watch the the video later and see if i was side turn i don't think i was side turn i'm pretty sure that was normal but that is pie too like you got like you have to do it right away like you have to buffer it so fast very nice Very nice. Good round. Nice conversion. Go human hunter. Alright, here we go.
Good round. See, that was excellent, Human Hunter. So here we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right, good game. Good round, good round. I still, I'm almost still losing this. Good, that's the combo. Oh no. That was such a good battle. Look at how close that was. Human Hunter, good game. Good game, Human Hunter. Good game. I had so much fun with that battle. Keep it up. You're doing really, really good. <laughs> I'm wondering if Human Hunter is somebody I know. Now it's KK. Good. Space time is controlling the Abari. He's like, you're not going to Abari me. Very good. Very good. Very good round, though. Alright, good game, good games. Space time is getting scarier every single time. Panda is very strong. Um, Panda is getting used to the... Um, yeah, Panda is very strong. Don't underestimate Panda. They're just, they just returned to VF uh, very recently. Good. That's so good.
That was beautifully played. Every single read. Every single read. So good. Awesome, Hernan. Uh, you can make more of that. You can punish that better. Be I think you can beat Knuckle Duck. I think you can beat Knuckle Duck. So. Good. Good. Uh, the games are going awesome. Oh, King Death Cradle is going good too, I think. Good game, Hernan. Hernan was playing super patient, just maybe slightly too patient, but yeah, no problem. I understand. I understand, man. Uh, but your reads were really, really good. Really good reads. Just just tired. And I understand that that makes sense because um, because you weren't like seizing the advantage as much. Um, you were making advantage a lot. You were defending so well, right? And that's all. So it's all good. I'm glad that you're you're training with us. And I know, I know how strong you really, really are, so it's good, it's good. Good, Bannock with the lead, plus 16. Yeah. Yeah, no worries about it, Hernan. I understand. <laughs> what did King Death Cradle say? <laughs> yeah, uh, Space Time is a friend of mine. Um, he's a really cool guy. Oh, this is rough. Deserve that. That was a good first round. Good first round, crazy. Right, I denied myself the sobering though. Two drinks might not seem like a lot with crazy drunk, it's a lot. Jason might have taken first here. We'll see. But that was really good, really good battles, everyone. Thank you so much. But no, are we tying? Plus 14, plus 14. 
Crazy still has a match. I don't. Yeah, I'm out of it. Yeah, Crazy. No, one more match. Uh, Jason and I. Damn. Yeah. This is so close. Look at how close that is. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is rough. Um, yeah. This is gonna be so much fun. Alright, I think Jason's gonna take first, but I'm gonna do my best to stop him. I'm gonna do my best to stop him. It's very close. But actually, um, crazy drunk can. If I lose, oh no, it's definitely between me and Jason. Okay, all right, there it is. Cherry boy is Tengu man. Ten Cherry boy is Tengu man. That's so good, so smart. Oh, that was so cool. That's really cool too. Look at that crap. Oh. Good, good round, good round, Jason. I thought I had something, did not have it. It's a really good round. I know how to deal with that. Oh, almost. That was a, such a good round. Such a good round. This is like the battle for first here. So good. Oh my god, that's it! <laughs> awesome battle. Congratulations, Jason. That was an epic battle. Congratulations, Jason. That was an epic battle. Oh god. That was really good stuff. So much fun. <laughs> so much trying to cheese each other through the match. I had so much fun with that. I enjoyed that battle very much, so. Man. Congrats again. <laughs> good games <laughs> good games <laughs> that was that was so much fun and way to way to bring the oh, blaze <laughs> way to adapt i probably have to get dinner too but i think we can do one more we can do probably one more league soon so we'll give it time to grow. Let me check my situation. Put it on break. You guys keep fighting. You're doing great, Mexican uppercuts. Um, you're doing very good. Um, 
you are very you're probably a little too defensive but that's okay because it works a lot and you should um just be aware that like you might be open to throws and lows a little and that's okay you don't want to be insecure about that just kind of um but um keep it up what you can of course uh make sure that you're escaping most of the throws with a strong read if that's your approach and then don't let the lows bother you too much um because most lows kind of suck in DF. so you, you're doing really good with your jackie um so keep it up but you can do different approaches you can create space and when and jackie's neutral is really powerful so it's definitely something to develop um yeah identifying when to throw your opponent like improving your throw is gonna it, it's hard and you might lose a lot of games while you're developing the skill of throwing but learning how to throw even better even more um at the right times is, is gonna make you stronger too but you have a really good jackie keep it up Yeah, yeah, so I do see the Tekken, right? I, and the Tekken is that you're playing more attack and defend, attack and defend. Because in Tekken, you can punish mistakes. This game, you punish mistakes too. But the way you punish mistakes in this game is to learn how to fuzzy guard first. Um, when you learn how to fuzzy guard, the game changes a lot. And that's kind of why we can play really fast up close a lot more. Um, and, some of the, and some of the decisions will change. Right now, it's kind of a guess between... Throwing you and um, throwing you and doing mids, right? But the, but because you're defensive, it's mostly throwing you to kind of condition you so that you finally attack, and then try to predict when you're going to attack so I can launch you. Um, but later, but if you if you start learning how to do fuzzy guard more, even you can and you can do it online because of buffering. Um, if you learn how to do the fuzzy guards more, and then eventually the evade cancels, uh, that changes some aspects of the game. It makes you able to play neutral, even online, in a stronger way, kind of. Um, it gives you some tools that you'll that you'll develop into stronger play. And then your Jackie's going to start learning how to fight the neutral, the higher level neutral game, which is really scary. Because Jackie is just so strong at both the pressure game and strong at the neutral game. Um, improve your Okazami is always a big one. So if you do get throws, make sure you're practicing Okazemi, that you're trying to win situations when the opponent's trying to wake up. And um, yeah, feel free to, uh, if you're not on my friends list already, please add me on PSN. Send me messages and we can work on it. But you're a strong player. Uh, I'm not saying you're not because you're definitely a strong player. Um, but I can definitely see where uh, translating your Tekken strengths more and improving your VF fundamentals will... Um, get you to another level you know and you definitely should add uh, a lot of these players that are in this room to your PSN friends list um, now the game unfortunately doesn't have an easy way to do that so I have to usually just write it down write down people's names or go on like uh, the PlayStation app and add them from the PlayStation app by manually searching for them but um, but you should definitely add a lot of the people in this room um, and there's a lot of people for you to be able to spar with, especially players like KDC. Um, I think you're going to have lots of fun with, with those battles. You're going to have fun battles with us, too. And you're going to have fun battles with the next generation that I hope you will be teaching how to play BF as well. So keep it up. Sonic Win is in. Awesome. Happy Sonic Win is here. I'm going to take, I'm going to go drink some water. I'll be right back. But man, I am loving it here. Uh, I'm so happy everybody's here watching. Human Hunter, awesome. I I didn't pay attention to the combo you tried to use on Tengu, but I would. Um, but I did like the combos I saw from your pie. So keep that up. Um, let me try to add you to my group. I have a special training group, so let me add you to that. It was Human Hunter 205 right. 
Hey, thank you so much, Tengu man. I had a blast. What's human underscore hunter? No, I'm the one who's. Yep, human hunter 205. Okay, let's add that. Alright, I've added you to Chanchai's Dojo, human hunter 205. And then we also have Mexican uppercut. Yeah, let's add that. The rules in my dojo though is no complaining, no venting. Because there are better places to do it, so. I couldn't remember if it's Mexican uppercuts or Mexican uppercut. Um, yeah. Uppercuts, okay. Okay, fuzzy guard. Okay, um, Mexican uppercuts, awesome. Fuzzy guards work, uh, basically, in Virtua Fighter, throws are fast. Throws are typically 10 frames. Everything else is slower than that. Uh, all attacks, except for a couple attacks maybe. But generally, attacks are slower than those 10 frames, right? So, now the thing is, is you can, like, instantly crouch guard, like, an attack, but you cannot instantly crouch a throw. So, there is time that it takes to duck under a throw manually. Um, and so, the idea is that you crouch under a throw and then stand up and guard. Um, the most basic situation is when you're elbow is blocked um like jackie does 6p and then guard cancel it um and the opponent blocks it then jackie will be minus five and because you're at minus five you want to be able to crouch in five frames so you you buffer you input early the crouch dash so that jackie will when jackie recovers five frames after the recovery they crouch and then so they duck under a throw they crouch in five frames, and then after that, they stand and guard. So when so the basic situation that I teach is elbow guard, and then when the opponent blocks it, you do a crouch dash, and then you um, and then you stand and guard. And I can drill it with you sometimes on the side. And when you see it, there's a way to train with the AI to practice it, um, and you get better at it. Then you learn how to buffer in this game. You learn how to crouch dash, and you'll learn how to duck. Uh, throws and standing guard mids and this takes away a lot of mix-up however um, and, and so it's a very strong defense but it does lose to delay throws if people are slow and throwing like late it will lose to that um, it will lose to low attacks but again low attacks in this game typically are very low reward and typically they just suck there low attacks in this game are really chip damage for the most part you know, they're, they serve the purpose of chipping away at the opponent, but not getting much for it. Because because the opponent is, you know, because it's like a, a cheap hit, right? This game wants you to fight up close. And to ensure that the game fights up close, it's a lot of mixing up between, like, you know, scarier attacks like launchers and throws. Um, but then there's a lot of poking in between and a lot of these advanced techniques in the small poke range until we get into deep, heavy stuff. 
So the game has this incentive to use the heavier stuff to win, but at the same time, the small stuff because is good, except that a lot of times you can fuzzy guard after the small stuff. Like, when the small stuff gets blocked. So, you gotta, like, increase your risk to get, like, the really big reward, you know? But most of the time, your reward is higher than the risk, unless the opponent knows very specifically how to really wreck that technique. Yeah. So, there's also a manual way to, like, if you're at... So, basically, the gist is this. If you're minus four and you're minus five, you do a crouch dash into a standing guard, but you have to buffer it. Buffering it means you input it early. If you're minus two or minus three, you simply press and hold two down in guard. And once your opponent, once your character starts ducking, the moment they start ducking, you let go of guard. Or you let go of down, and so you go back to neutral guard. And that is like low block, high block. That's how you do it at minus two and minus three. Yeah. The fuzzy guard attack is a lot of fun to practice, though. Um, but that's later. I don't, I, you know, I teach that when people already know how to fuzzy guard. Um, but I also and training yourself to do fuzzy guard attack can train your reflexes so that you can do just manual fuzzy do fuzzy guard and then manually attack when you see somebody when you see a throw animation. I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry uh, that I didn't see both. Uh, I also sent you both. Okay, I will look at the discords and I will respond, Human Hunter. Thank you very much. Okay, Mexican uppercuts. I'm adding you to my group. Again, the rules in there, no complaining. Because there are better places to complain. Uh, no, I'm Mexican uppercuts, yeah, Mexican uppercuts. Alright, I'll be back, I'm gonna get a drink, and then we're gonna play some, we're gonna play League very soon. Sorry for any loud noises when I pick this up. Sorry for loud noise when I pick up the headphones. Right now the microphone is so strong it's picking up like 
the fan and it's picking up the monitor. And that causes problems, just it causes loud noises. Alright, after this battle we're gonna do we're gonna do it. We're gonna do league. This is pretty monster league now. Aoi is a very hard matchup for, for Brad. And similar for Jackie. Jackie hates fighting Aoi. <laughs> so it's because uh she they have to start using like a lot of their lows and throws to fight to condition her. All right, good luck everybody. Let's have a lot of fun here. All right, Panda, Panda beat me in the last league, so let's do this, Panda. I find League to be a really good training environment because it trains you with a lot of different connections and a lot of different characters and a lot of different people so you have to you have to play a little more tactically with a lot more careful like quick judgment snap judgment reads got completely destroyed by panda here very good round good round yeah i i totally will i'll do that That's a ring out. Good game. Good round. Excellent. Well played. See, one thing that I love is I think Panda has been working on playing with a read on better reads, and online forces you to read more. And I'm not reading, so it's really good. I totally didn't expect that one. <laughs> and that's half circular. People forget that this kick is half circular. Oh my god, <laughs> they're, they're gonna be mad. They know that 3P plus K, I think they even went for 3P plus K, but they might have misinputted it. But they knew 3P plus K was the answer there. I know they know that, so. <laughs> Good game, I know, I know the feeling. Trust me, I know that feeling. That's the feeling when I fought Jason last, last league. <laughs> and I know you know 3P plus K was the answer. <laughs> I know you're going for three. If, if that's that was the that was the slight tilt. That's nerves. That was like the nerves where you hit like punch instead of punch and kick, and you're just like ah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Jason is playing very smart. He's outplayed. Actually, in general, Jason's been outplaying me the whole day. So I'm really enjoying this. Because I, it shows me that what I've got to work on. Three. 
That was beautiful. I could have. I didn't expect that. I need to see that more. Yep. I did the same thing everyone does. I tried to like low punch that for some reason. It's like I think I did what Juicebox does. I mixed it up with 8K in my head, but I knew what it was. Oh, that's so beautiful. Good game. Good game, Jason. Really good game. Thanks a lot for that. A lot of stuff that I have to work on, but that was excellent. So good. And, um, yeah, I'm not being dynamic enough. Jason is, so I love it. <laughs> Very good battle, man. Very good battle. Ah. Uh, you completely outclassed me that last game, so I did get some stuff, but no, that, you're the one playing with the reeds, and that's what you do have to know. Jason is good at both conditioning and reading. Um, if they're in trouble, I've seen them condition people pretty well by like basically really doing it in a pull and then a push. But the Yomi is also really important. Like they they kind of know what you like to do, so they're gonna attack that. And sometimes you can do a slight change to tactically win it, but you gotta be very careful. I got neutral. Nice. I like that. He did ducking and then he just watched. Ducking and then waiting. That's so good. That was beautiful. Good, good one. Excellent round. Excellent round, Hanan. That's it. Good round. Good game. Good game, Hernan. That was really good. Good game. That was an excellent game. <laughs> Understood. Understood, Hernan. Well, I wasn't complaining about your effort. I was just saying, though, that you do need to be, you just need to be more assertive. That was all. <laughs> it might mix rice. All right. Crazy Drunk is on a spree, though, so everybody's got to watch out for Crazy Drunk. <laughs> Yeah. 
Playing with creative with off tempo by the captain. If you see this dancing, it means like um, you have to use throws because you got to stop the dancing with the throws. It's hard to do though. Because some of the dancing is using fuzzy guards. Good. Ah, good game. That's where using the back dash is really scary. Because I hadn't used back dash for a long that much. So then the targeted back dash is a very scary thing. Good game. Good game space time. Right now, Hernan and uh, Crazy Drunk are really uh, leading this board. I really appreciate uh, Juicebox's uh, comments today in the chat as well. Like it's, they are all very, very good stuff that he said, um, and it's and it helps reiterate a lot of the points uh, in VF to understand because VF um, plays a bit different than a lot of games, you know. And like he said, um, it's only very specific situations where there are 50/50s. Very few guaranteed damage stuff that it's there in this game but um but actually the scarier things is like this the evade like evade countering is bigger than guard evade than guard punish but you need to understand evade and you have to get used to the move listen you have to get good at evade checking or at least reading the situation know what you're gonna evade good very good good do the evade there it's really good excellent Very good. Excellent. This is a fun battle, Sonicly. Alright, here we go.
Fear the Vade. Good game, very close. Space time versus Hernan. This will be really good. Um, yeah, I won't. I won't say it. Let's watch. This is where you fall down. Round one. Ready? Go. Okay, reading round. That was really good. Very good too. Nice getting to the side. Nice side pressure. Oh, very good. So this one is testing Hanan's patience in a good way. Because uh, when you do decide to play patient and you fight someone that's patient, it's a good test. It's a good challenge. Space time has gotten better at throwing too. Very close round. Right. And I was really working on his defense too. And his patience. It's really good things to work on. Oh, that would have been cool if you got the throw. Good game. That was a really good game, Space Time. Good battle, you too. That is a punishable situation, though. So. Alright, Crazy Junk, here we go. Wow, look at that. 4-1, 4-1. That was 5, 1. Wow, it's that close. I didn't think I would even be in the running, um, but I am almost for sure going to get third or maybe second. Probably third though. Round one. Ready, go!
Yep. Can't do typical zoning against Leon or Shun. I've known this for a long time, but... Good game. Sorry, Hernan, I gave it away to Crazy Junk. <laughs> Crazy Junk takes it. <laughs> uh, great battles, good games. <laughs> good games, everyone. I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to have to call it for now, but I might be back later tonight. But this was uh, an amazing time, with everyone. You guys should keep up, stay in the room and spar. But I'm going to um, call it, but let's see who else is online. Yeah, Space Time is a very patient player. It's good. I love training against Space Time. Uh, let's see here. Is numbers done? Let me see. I don't know if he's still streaming. Yeah, numbers is a. Uh... Everyone cheer for numbers. Um, you know, I think he's on the job search. Um, same with Harpinier, and that's really, uh, you know, so we're cheering for them, for them to have awesome, uh, to find awesome jobs, next jobs. And more awesome BF after that, you know. Oh, uh, you're doing fine, Hernan. Hernan, you're always fun to fight against. I like you when you're at your strongest. I'm like you when you're at your weakest. So don't worry about it. We fight, we have fun. Look at me, I'm in fifth place, so you know. <laughs> but man, everyone, thank you very much. This was a really wonderful time. So I appreciate it. Congratulations, crazy drunk. Took that with, uh, you know. With authority. Let's see. Looks like uh, Numbers and I am. I don't know. I'm gonna. Is Numbers waiting to play with Dennis? I wonder. MSC? Alright. I, I will let them know that. I'll let them know that. That's Thank you for for that, you know? Um, I do like seeing that you've been going around the world, man. So. Alright, everybody. Um. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having a good time. Um, but I am gonna go um, pass the stream on to Numbers. Maybe? No, I gotta pass it to someone else, it looks like. Alright, let's do that. I agree with what Numbers is saying about uh, Genesis Frenzy. Genesis Frenzy is a very strong player. Um, never, I never, ever, ever take them lightly. Um, so. And I like to fight them more, so I, I enjoy fighting them. But um, let's see who we got. We're gonna pass it to PDX. PDX is an awesome guy. Um, Used to be part of the uh, Portland scene, but now it's moved to New Mexico. But PDX uh, says PDX for life. And also, they had an amazing tournament run not long ago. So. Anyone cheers? Catch y'all later. Round two. PDX is also a uh, person that likes arcade lovers like I do. I could fight. Round three. 